A tricky rescue after a pilot crashed his glider into the top of some trees on a steep mountainside. The glider was tethered to a plane that took off from Shefflet Field in Marion. It went down in Yancey County after being released. Now, the glider crashed on Big Ridge Road near the Mount Mitchell Golf Club. Pilot was left stuck high above the ground. News 13's Karen Wynn is live at the South Toe Fire Department. And Karen, getting the pilot down wasn't that easy. No, Tammy, it really wasn't. In fact, the rescuers say it took a whole lot of people and some special equipment to save the man's life. What was supposed to be a beautiful glide through the mountains went horribly wrong for 66-year-old Jay Campbell of Camden, South Carolina. He was uh, towed out of McDowell County or Marion Airport this morning. Uh, something happened in, in this general area to where he, uh, I'm told he was still attached to the plane that was pulling him. Until Banks said the glider crashed into a tree at least 20 feet high. Over the next hour, five fire departments, an EMS unit, and the French Broad Electric worked to free Campbell dangerously close to power lines using a bucket truck and a front end loader. He had some blood on his face and, and was uh, experiencing abdominal pain. Uh, but he was talking to responders the whole time. Once off the mountain, Campbell was airlifted to a hospital in Johnson City, Tennessee. Lifelong South Toe resident Sonny Autry says gliders are a common sight in this area this time of year. Yeah, they do it uh, quite often. Yeah, yeah, about uh, two or three times a year. South Toe's fire chief says he's glad this dangerous hobby didn't turn deadly in his community. I feel great that it was uh, a success getting him out and he's still alive. Now, just a few seconds ago, we actually saw that wreckage has been removed from the mountain. And in fact, the vehicle hauling it just went by us. And so that's how we know it's gone. And also only a few minutes ago, we got an update on Campbell's condition. He is in serious but stable condition in the hospital tonight. Now coming up tonight at six, more on the conversation that Campbell had with his rescuers and the one personal possession he wanted to make sure they got from the glider. Live in Yancey County, I'm Karen Wynn, News 13.